I'm 100 pounds overweight. What should I focus on first? Are you moving? If you're not moving, then I would recommend start moving. I think that's always, I think movement is medicine. Kind of ties back to that first question uh, pertaining to, you know, what is the key to living a healthier lifestyle? I operate under the philosophy that movement is medicine. And I think if you're not moving, this is a great place to start, right? I think getting into the gym um, and starting some resistance training would be a phenomenal place to begin your journey to um, lose 100 pounds if, if you feel like that's what you need to lose. Uh, but I also feel like there are so many different forms of movement, right? Again, we kind of talked about this on the first question, um, but I think resistance training is a great way to go, and obviously that's what we, um, that is what we practice and what we preach. So I'm going to always speak very highly of resistance training for the many benefits that can come with that. Um, so start moving, right? Some type of, you know, getting some types of steps in, movement, sport, whatever, um, whatever makes you happy, whatever you enjoy the most. Um, and then from there, I think you just, I think locking in on nutrition is so, so key. It's so critical. Um, starting to find some consistency with your diet. Um, again, figuring out what shoes you're in. Are you in the shoes of the person that's over consuming? and not moving enough? Or are you in the shoes of the person who is under consuming and maybe moving too much? Um, and then kind of navigating your way from there. That would be my, yeah. yeah. I, I 100% agree with Jake on this. Um, I think, so I actually had a client recently, um, we've been working together for a few years now, but in the last, the first two to three years was really learning uh, about more about his lifestyle, his habits, his routines, the the mental overcome of understanding that it really starts on the inside, and that's so much of what I learned from Jared's pod, the podcast I did with Jared Hamilton, is learning so much more about the inner work, the inner game that comes from a dramatic shift in who you are. Losing 100 pounds, I mean, that's a small child you are getting yeah. rid of. I mean, that's that's a huge journey. And I think the first step, what should, it's, what should I focus on first? I think the first step is coming to peace with the fact that this is going to be a long journey. 100%. Long I again. think coming to peace and understanding that this will take time. It will not be overnight. It won't be six months. It won't even be a year. It might be three, it might be five. By the way, plan for five, it might happen in one. Yeah. Plan for one, it might happen in six. But if you hope for too short of a time period, you're only going to psychologically fuck yourself into not following through. So stay, like, stay with it. Keep going and just make one small change every quarter. So every three months, try to add one new habit or one new skill. In one year, you'll have four new things that you do every single day. By the end of two years, you'll have eight new things that you'll never go back on. If you can do that, I will guarantee success and sustainability on your journey. And this is one of the biggest things that helped my client lose 110 pounds was starting and meeting them where he, meeting him where he was at so for him the first step was all we have to do bro is eat a serving of vegetables a day that's what we needed to do with him that was it it was starting with a one serving of vegetables from there it was like okay you don't eat enough protein let's add one serving of protein with those vegetables we'll start there and every month, we would add one little thing into his diet. By the way, we didn't take away anything. You notice, we didn't restrict. We didn't take away. All we did is add one small thing every so often. That's what led to his success. So don't think too far ahead. Don't create too short of a timeline. Start with small, simple skills and slowly build upon them, and I guarantee you'll get there. I love that answer. 